This is Ben's stuff. Hey Ben, huh? we got another cool robot. Yeah. And this guy he's pretty is pretty small. <laughs> yeah, he's super small. Ready to show him? Yeah. Here he is. Yeah. That's right. It's Probably a if you're too close. mini. Yeah, maybe if you're too close, then it's going to show it really big. I guess so. Yeah, if we get really close, it'll look like it's a gigantic ball. But really, beep, there it is. It's just a little guy. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what comes in this box. Here's the box here, the Sphero Mini Activity Kit. This is where it shows the Sphero, but we turned we, it around. Yeah, we took it out. And it comes with these cards in it. And it has advanced cards, intermediate cards, and beginner cards. And what they do is they let you show you cool things that you can do. So this one here is the aim game. And it teaches you how to aim your, your Sphero ball. Yeah, and this one here is to hit a, hit a bowling pin. That's pretty easy. Yeah. This one here, you got to drive between the cones, and they show you how to set everything up. Speed Freak, and on the bottom, it tells you what to use. So this one's telling you to use the joystick, and it tells you where to put the speed. So that's kind of cool. Can you load that up on the app now? Software update. So it's right here, and then it's going to start glowing. All right, so Look. lost connection. Is it going to connect? Yep. Should connect to me. Oh baby, look at it, it's blue. Now if you drive it, it changes colors, right? That's not how that works. No, see if I go to this here, um, oh, but I have to be in the game first, then go to settings. Right. Um, You can change the colors, look. Oh, no way. Wow, there's a lot of colors, eh, Ben? Look at all the colors on that thing. Green, blue, it's connected. What's this right here? Rotate the white dot into the blue light Look at the on the wheels. robot is pointing at you. It's pointing at me. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so the ball is actually in a case. Right? Yep. Yeah, so the ball goes That's inside how you this charge plastic it. thing. That's how you charge it. And once it's in that plastic ball, it rolls around. And you can control it, right? So let me see the controller, Ben. Yeah. Alright, so if you control it... That's pretty easy, eh? Yeah. All right, so drive it around for a little bit. Let's see what you got. Me, 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 me. Let's see your skills. I'm <laughs> not very good. <laughs> mm. For a little thing, that's pretty fast. Yeah, it's fast. Don't go down the stairs. Oh, boy. Okay, Ben, let's take it out and let's show Are you saying, like, take it out outside? No, take it out of the case. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. And then we'll put it in this little charging stand here. Now, at first I thought this thing was magnetic, but it's not. It just has like like sticky stuff on it. Look, look. If I put my finger on it. Yeah. So I don't know what happens when the sticky stuff eventually like, goes away, but disappears. it's great to put the ball in. Hmm. All right, so let's put the charger in. So. I just thought it disconnected. When it's blue, it's charging. And oh, it did disconnect. And when it's green, it's, it's done. It's done charging. Now this thing here, it just sits in here perfectly. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it falls out. <laughs> see, nice little. I'm just, sitting. I just wondering, why does it have this if it's not a magnet? I don't know. I thought it was that magnet too. Look. But if look, you so they they have different robots. See, spark. I can't speak. Spark Bolt. And then Sphero Sparks. Yeah, Sphero 2.0 Spark. And then the Mini on the top left. That's the one we got. Okay, so this thing also comes with like a rubber casing. Yep, it comes with a rubber casing. Okay, let's get the rubber casing. So it's over here. Let's see. So that goes on the ball. And I don't know what that does. It makes it harder to drive. I'm not too sure what it does. Maybe it sticks if you want to like climb stuff. Maybe. So that's how you put it on, right? Yep. Just snaps on. Like, it's nothing difficult. It is pretty difficult. Is it? Well, because it bends in. And it's plastic, too, so it, like, sticks. It glows kind of cool. Eh? Here, let me close it. Oh, you can see the 
the sphere logo, yeah. Close the blinds and you can see the light better. Wow, look at the glowing now. Wow, wow. It's like radioactive. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> okay, drive around again. Connected into Sphero Mini. Okay, so while it's connecting, I'm going to show you the other pieces. And it also doesn't hurt you. You got bowling pins, you got cones, and you got these like gates here that you can set up for obstacles. And you got these loops here that you can stand up. And, and then there's games, so there, there would be bowling pins on it or whatever and you don't want to knock these things down but that's you can right. shake it a little bit that's right yeah one of the games is you can't knock down the t the, the tunnels because you got to go like this and then you got to put a bowling pin on the top and you got to get the ball to hit the side knock the pin over but you can't knock over the arch and that's hard mm -hmm. okay you did it but it took a couple of tries but these things here, they're plastic. Oh, sorry, they're like a rubber. Yeah, they're like rubber. So if you step on it, it wouldn't hurt as much. So that was, that was very smart on their part to make it all rubber. Yeah. You know, bendy. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Because if you stepped on that, if it was like hard plastic, look, that would hurt. Look, see, just to make sure that you guys believe us, see? Yeah, it's all bendy. I don't think you want to bend it too much just in case it breaks. Yeah. <laughs> look, if I step on it too... Yeah. Doesn't even hurt my foot. Don't hurt. So it's safe. Yep. Okay, so let's show some of the stuff that's on this tablet then. All right, so, we so got I the, already connected. We did the driving. Yep. What else is on there? Programming. So if we go to blocks, right. you can program it. So let's do aim again so it knows where we are. So red, right? Let's do red. Orange. And we don't really have to do and then forward, backward. Okay, so what does that do? You can hit start. That's pretty cool. And it goes back to the blue light again. Yep. So you can put any lights you want on there and any, holy moly. How far does it go? Pretty far. Like how many spots can you put into the uh, programming? A lot. So I guess you could put a different color every time you want it to move too, right? Look at that thing. You can barely hear it. It's actually from the tablet, not the... No, but you can barely hear it rolling on the ground. Like, it's super quiet. Yeah. That's really cool. Look, so blue, green... Oh, that's, that's as far it. as you can that's go. That's as far as you can go. So Ben, if you're not like super into programming... Yeah. You know, sometimes it could be a little overwhelming, a little too much for like little kids even. So if you have something like this, where it's just like you're hitting an arrow or you're hitting a color. It's really easy. Yeah, it's easy. And, and there's it, also another app where it shows you what's inside the robot. I know, we'll show that too. But that's great for little kids. It definitely will get their interest in wanting to program. That's cool. I know. Okay, so what else is on this? What else is on here? I like that So one. there's actually games. So okay. if we go to kick, let's try kick. So if we do forward, it will it will pretend that you're kicking it. And you roll it back and up. Oh my goodness! <gasps> is it cheering? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the audio of the tablet sounds like there, there's an audience. Wow. You probably could play games with that too. You can. Okay. You can play games with this. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Alright, what's the next one? So here's games. We're gonna be needing the robot for this. Okay. So, so let's see the different games. What do we got? We have Exile 2, we have Light Speed Drifter, and Round Trip. Let's try round trip. Let's do round trip. Okay. Everyone sit you... and get ready. Can you put the spheral ball in the picture too so we can see? Yeah. So this one here, you got to spin the ball so that the, yeah, there you go. You got to try to make the ball hit all the sides. Oh, oh no. Oh. You know what's cool about it, Ben? It's like the walls, or I don't know, the ball itself on the game is the same color as what you're holding in your hand. It is. See, light blue, 
light blue again because I didn't do this board yet. Is it hard to spin it? No. Ooh, See, now it turns yellow because we changed the board. Oh, oh. nice. Green. Oh, no. So that one's tricky because if the ball's blue, you can only hit the blue walls. No. Yee. I don't know, you know what? This game would also be good for people that are older that need like hand motor skills. <laughs> hey? Yeah. People that have troubles with their hands, that'd be great for them. Okay, so what's the next one? We got, so that was round trip. Which Light has... speed drifter. What's this one do? What is it, a car? Yeah. See the ball things moving? Oh yeah. The arrows? That's what I'm trying to make me go faster. You gotta hit the arrows to keep going. Oh, get an arrow, man, get an arrow. Yeah. So if you don't get an arrow, he'll slow down and stop and that's when the game's over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Okay. And now the ship one's really hard because you can move forward and backwards and turn. Really? All right, let's see it. Look, it shows you. Yeah, it's you back and forth, up and down. Oh my goodness. How does it does it shoot? Oh yeah. Oh, so auto fires? You don't have to press anything, do you? No. Oh, you gotta shoot. You gotta shoot all the asteroids. Or hit them. What are you doing? Are you swinging the ball back and forth? Oh, you're getting right into it. Yeah, I don't want to win. Oh, hit that rock. Hit one of the rocks. See what happens. Can you hit it? <laughs> You're even trying to lose and you can't. Oh. There you go. That's cool. Okay, so what else is on there? Let's go to home. I like that. I yeah. Can't get over the color of this thing, Ben. Yeah, you can change it. It's so bright. Look, there's tilt, slingshot, and scream drive. What's scream drive? It says, touch, touch and drag to steer. Make noise to accelerate. Touch and drag to steer. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wait, can I try? Ready? I'll pull it back this way. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> That's really cool. How does it know? Look. If there's no sound, it doesn't yeah, move. Yeah, it doesn't but... move until you... <laughs> That's neat. Uh, 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 uh. What happened to the color, the light? Oh, when you're moving it, when you make sound. <laughs> oh, I see. Ah! Ooh -wee. Oh my goodness. All right, so what else is on there? I like that one. That's yeah, pretty cool. I bet you every parent's gonna love their kids screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Slingshot? Look, so it's basically like driving, but if you pull back, well, that's cool. It's like the soccer game. That's pretty cool. All right, is that the last one? No. There's more? And this is the last one. Well, the tilt. What's the tilt do? So if you tilt your tablet, it will go that way. Oh, no way. That's nice. Whoop, gotta get this out of the way. I can't see. Oh, my goodness. It's so hard driving this thing tilting. <laughs> Once you get used to it, I'm sure it's easy. Oh, it's going crazy! <laughs> That's really neat, Ben. Hold on! You're like spinning in a circle. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Don't go down the stairs! That you would might die! Alright, so let's try some of these uh, obstacle cards, okay? Yep. We're gonna start doing some of these cards that we got with the game. <laughs> Yep. So we're going to start off with a beginner, and we'll try doing an intermediate and an advanced one. So here's the setup. We kind of have it set up like that. Yep. And it says to go to joystick. Joystick. So where's the joystick? Right here. Yeah, and it says to set the speed to halfway. It doesn't say how fat, like how much. I have to move the joystick, so I'm just going to tap we. Oh, beginner Ever. mode. Oh, Ben. Do I have to knock down the cones too? No, just the pin. 
Yeah. That was easy. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to move up to intermediate, and we're trying bot and weave. We just gotta drive the ball through all bot these. Bot and weave. <laughs> bot and weave. Okay, so you gotta drive it through the blue. Wait, does it say how fast? No. Nope. This says the blue, the orange, and then the pink and the green. Full speed. All right, Ben. Slowest speed. That it can go. That it can go. All right, let's try it. Oh, it's so close. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. No. Oh. If I die and I lock something down, I'm going to Oh, be it's happening, Ben. It's happening. Oh. <laughs> I was at the end. <laughs> We're going to count that as a win. All right, let's check out the next one. We have done a beginner one, an intermediate one, and now... The pin one. The ultimate challenge. I think this is the highest scoring rating one because it says up here 3.5. I think all the yeah, that's the highest one. So we're doing Archie Bumper. Archie Bumper. Archie Bumper. So this is the one I was telling you about before where you got to knock over the pins without knocking over the, the arches. Yeah. All right, so give it a try. See what happens. Wait, what speed is it at first? Put it at any speed you want. Um, let's go to max because it's the hardest. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. You got one of them down. Now the orange one. Nice. Oh, almost. Nice. I get, yeah, if you hit it like that, Ben, that's perfect. Oh, the last one. You did that on your first try on the max speed. That other card in Intermediate was a lot more tougher than that one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ben, there's another app that Sphero has, and it's called, what is it called? Sphero.edu. That's kind of yeah, weird. It's right there. So Sphero.edu. It lets you do different programmings. So this one here allows you to draw. This one lets you use like the snap blocks, like coding uses. And I think there's another one too. There's a, there's a text one too, if you know how to use Java. So this is like the, uh, the advanced version of it, but mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. So let's go to the draw one, Ben. Okay. So slide it all the way over. Pick draw. Draw one? Yep. Please wait. Probably has to connect. Look at the course I made too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> knock all the things. The impossible course. So you can read all that, but we're gonna continue our activity. And over here it says, create a program for this activity. So we're gonna pick draw at the top there. And then our robot, Sphero Mini is right there. Oh, you could use the BB-8 ones. Oh my goodness, we'll, we'll try that. Because we have those guys. Okay, so there's your grid. Now you draw a small circle then, because we drew a big one and it would like almost try to take the whole room up. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be too big. That's okay. <laughs> it's going to knock start. my whole course down. Let's see what happens. So look at, <laughs> oh my goodness. He's gonna try that. So there you go. He drew. He did the whole circle that you just drew. So Ben, what do you think about the Sphero Mini? Amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? You get to drive it around. I love the lights. That is probably like one of the best things. The color on that is so bright. You can change the colors. Look at that. You want to see the brightness though? Wait, you can turn up the brightness? Yeah. Is it maxed out right now? Look, maxed out and then you can go all the way down to... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. So that's all the stuff you get. You get lots. There's lots here for this activity kit. Yeah. And you're not going to get bored of it because you can set up these things any way you want. You can make up your own games. It doesn't have to be what the cards show you. Yeah. And if not, you just drive it around and have a good time. I would do it on the hardwood floor, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, Cyril, for making such a cool toy. Yeah. And hopefully we can do more. What do you say to everybody? Thank you for watching and subscribe to this video. That's right. Thanks, and everybody. And hit the notification bell. Well, that would be nice.